What is up everybody? My name is Super Simon Teo and today we're going to be making a video. As you can see, right here I have a shoebox and I wrote on it that no, they are not shoes. Trust me. Put a football in here. <laughs> and this is for my cousin. And today I'm going to be showing you how to wrap this present. So these are the things that you're going to need. Well, your present, a sharpie, clear tape, some scissors, some type of duct tape, and of course gift wrapping paper. So what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to cut the paper to size. And here's a little neat trick is that if your, if your paper doesn't stay, then you can tape it down on the floor. Just like so, so that it's a little bit easier to cut it. So, so then you're going to cut off the excess pieces that where it was ripped. <clears throat> instead of being cut, bless you, bless you. Instead of being cut, it was ripped. So now we're actually going to cut this up. Ouch. Yeah. And I just cut the floor. Seriously. I'm kidding, I didn't. Now, now this is gone. <clears throat> Please stop, Dean. Dean, stop. I said I don't need you to. You're going to grab your next piece of tape and put it there. Then you're going to grab your present. And you're going to approximate how big you actually need it. So let me move down the camera some so that y'all can see what I'm actually doing now. So, just as an approximation, I think we're gonna need about this much wrapping paper and you're going to test fold it and then tape it back down. And then, you're going to cut it. Yet again. Now this present I'm actually wrapping for my cousin, so you're gonna you're gonna know why I've got a football in there. And you're going to continue cutting until you don't need this. Now that you've done that. You're going to stretch this out, Dean. I need you to hold that. What? This? The ends. Just pull it out. And so, what you're gonna do? You're gonna try to move, Dean. I don't need you to do that much. You're gonna grab two pieces of tape, and you're gonna use that to hold it to the floor. And trust me, yes, this stuff actually weirdly wor enough works. Oh, wow. Works on carpet. And now it's on there, and then this is what you're gonna do. Make sure your presence in the middle, Dean. Move now. You're going to take this, and you're going to fold it over like this. Push down in on this side. Make sure that all your corners are perfectly aligned. And of course, I'm smart enough. To flip and rip the paper every time and then you're going to grab this I'll show you again the tape staying on and then those pieces of tape that were there before you're going to use that to tape it on to this which for some reason yet again it is not staying on but <clears throat> we'll tape everything back up and I know this is probably the most obvious ugliest thing you've ever seen and I probably agree with you, so you shouldn't click on this video or trust me at all. But, now that you've done that, this thing has a lot of air in it. So, before you put on the other pieces of tape, you want to try to get all that air out. And then you're going to put your corner pieces of tape on. And trust me when I say you got to get all that air out, because if you don't, then you're going to have problems. But not, not big problems, 
as you can see, now the present's like this. So you want to push down on these corners, take these, and put them up here. And then you want to tape everything down with your clear tape. And you need to try to make this look like perfection. I'm probably not going to be able to accomplish that, but I'd say just try it out. Just try to do it as best as you can. I think I'm going overboard with the tape. But anyways, it doesn't matter. And by the way, if you did leave the tape over, no. If you, not yet. If you did leave the air over, then you're going to take that air, you're going to pull it up and then take that, all that down. You're going to grab a big piece of tape <laughs> and then just flatten all that down. Another piece of tape ready. What is that? We're going to take these back up. And I guess, remember, use some tape to make it look nice. This is probably what y'all were not expecting. That's why you never trust a person like me. To show you how to wrap Christmas gifts. You can close the door, please. And use some tape to look, make it look nice again. Use some more tape. Okay, there's a hole in there, so I'll pass that up. Not yet, not yet, not yet. I can't use it. I need to tape this. Well, you guess what? You're gonna wait. I'm not done with my video. Let me use it. Whatever. And. <clears throat> We're going to tape this side piece down. Or you'll be not need to tape. Some more tape. I'm way too overboard with this tape in mine. And then I'm gonna tape down this entire bottom. Can I have a duct tape? No, Dean, you don't use duct tape for things like this. For once. And then the present's pretty much wrapped. Now you're gonna grab some of your duct tape. I like using this metallic color because it makes it look like the Christmas spirit. Rip off a pretty, not that big speed piece, but enough so that you can write somebody's name and who it's from. Where this is this? Um, if you don't know how to cut t duct tape real good, then you can just make a little indentation and then um, cut it or break it off. Then you're going to put this up in the corner. Then give me the normal tape. Okay. And then you're gonna write to who it is going to. To. Where's the scissors? Yeah. And then you're gonna write who it's from. <clears throat> and then you're gonna use that tape again to make it look all nice and yeah that is it that is how you get rip um wrap present with pretty much 10 minutes on your hands everybody i'll see you next time super siren out